Hello, welcome to Maximize Your Cooking. My name is Max, and well, you know, for you normal viewers, I'm in Germany lately, and one thing I really like here is something called Weisskrautsalat, which is really similar to like a vinegar-based coleslaw. Uh, however, here it's a little bit more German kick, kind of with like rye seeds, kümmel, that's what it's called. Um, but quite similar nonetheless, and I really, really enjoy it, and it's very, very, it's really not that hard. It might be a little bit you, you might not want to make it because cabbage is kind of annoying to deal with and cutting all the vegetables out, but you know, they make bags that you can buy at the store if you don't want to do that. I like to buy my ingredients fresh, I just like that. Okay, so I got all my ingredients here for this Weisskraut Salat. Um, it's going to go with cabbage, green cabbage. Uh, I have some extra from another one, but if you just have like a normal, this is a green head of cabbage, it's about two kilograms, about four almost four and a half pounds. Uh, I'd say it's a pretty average size and all you really got to do is take about half of it. Um, I have this green pepper here, green bell pepper. I won't use all of it. I'll probably use most of it though. Um, yeah, maybe just half. Uh, yellow onion or Spanish onion or sweet onion will work. White onion's good. I wouldn't use a red onion though. Some Weinbrand, uh, Wein Essig. This is just, I think it's like a, like a brandy vinegar but I mean that's the one I'm gonna use I think it tastes really good you can use just plain old white vinegar uh, apple cider vinegar is fine or you know, your favorite vinegar. olive oil you can use normal oil but I like I think the olive oil tastes a little better some salt you get some sugar some prepared yellow mustard um, fresh black pepper and cumo which is rye seeds um, celery seeds are sort of similar I would say that's seen often in and coleslaws back in the states, but uh, you're probably, I would encourage you to go out and get this because this adds a nice flavor to pretty strong flavor to the the vice crop salad. Um, okay, so there's really nothing too difficult here. As far as all like the dressing ingredients go, I just add them in at the very end. I don't prepare it up. I don't boil it. It's super simple. There's not too much about it. It's really easy. The only like annoying thing will be is the cabbage because cabbage is really complex and you don't really know exactly the perfect way to cut it every time. Um, but you know, just as simple as you can, cut it as thinly as you can. Not like microscopically thin, but cut it thin. And if it, the piece is too long, just simply cut it in half. But don't don't work with a huge piece of the cabbage and try like going all the way across it. You know, each time. Cut it into little pieces more like this and you'll help yourself dramatically. Thin slices. Okay, so I just got finished cutting up some cabbage. Uh, there it is in the bowl. Um, really thin slices of onion. And you can go as slow or as fast as you want. Depends if your knife's sharp. Really helps to have a sharp knife to make in. I guess coleslaw or vice crops a lot. But nice thin slices and you'll be fine. So there I got the green pepper. And those pieces are a little bit long, so I'm just gonna cut them right in half. And I don't want like big long pieces of green pepper in there. I just kinda want subtle thin slices of, of green pepper in there. Some of them are kinda thick. Okay, so I got my onion in there now. I'm gonna go in with the green pepper. So it's thin shards of green pepper. And I ended up using about half of a green pepper, I'd say. Use the top and this on some of the side. Okay, so now it's time to kind of make the dressing. Really just, I put it all in there and I mix it up in the end. And it ends up becoming the dressing, but without really being a dressing first. Three, three tablespoons of some white sugar. Easily right in there teaspoons of some salt. Uh, it's just some fine, I guess, iodized salt equivalent. Uh, let's see what else. We need a teaspoon, half a teaspoon of some black pepper. Okay, so I just ground it up uh, about half a teaspoon, it looks like, uh, into just a, a tablespoon. Sprinkle that over. Actually, that looked a little bit low, so I'm just gonna crack a little more in there. And then the cumin, and 
you might not like, rye is kind of strong, so you might want to go a little light on this. But in the end, about a teaspoon of, uh, of some cumul. Okay, so here I got the cumul seeds, and I'm just gonna simply, just kind of crush some of them. I'd say, if, to be safe, maybe try half a teaspoon, and see how you like it. Okay, so now I got the cumul, or the rye seeds in there. Going to go in with about a teaspoon, two to two, two, two teaspoons of some prepared yellow mustard. Um, you know, honestly, I'm just gonna go with that. That's almost, I'd say that's about two teaspoons, just kind of like a big heaping one. A couple tablespoons of some oil. You can go with three if you want, but I don't want to put in too much. And okay, obviously I need some oil, some uh, vinegar. So here we go with this Weinbrand Essig, I guess. Uh, go with whatever you want. I don't really know if they have this bag in the States, but if I were making this at home and I couldn't find it, I would just use regular white vinegar or apple cider vinegar. That'll work. And go in about a quarter cup or four tablespoons of the vinegar. And it's 5% acidity, in case you wanted to know. Never hurts to do less because you can always add more. But there it goes. Um, now all I'm gonna do here is just combine it up. And as far as my instructions go, I will tell you let it sit for about four hours in the fridge, at least, before you serve it, coat it up. And what I like to do after I do this combining and all that, I try a little bit of it, and it's not gonna really taste perfect at first. I mean, honestly, it's not totally delicious right away. It's delicious hours and hours from when you mix it. But I'm just gonna just try it out a little bit, see if, uh, if it turned out all right for me. Maybe I can figure out, maybe I might need something else later on. Weisskraut Salat is typically pretty sweet. It's almost always vinegary. Uh, it's not really like a creamy mayonnaise type of thing. Uh, this is pretty traditional. It's tasteful, it's delicious. It's a good way to use cabbage. Cabbage is very healthy for you. There's a lot of nutrients in it. And it's quite a delicious recipe and I hope you liked it. And I love making this. So I'm glad that I have made it once and now that I've made it once, it's easier for me to make it again. And I'm sure it will be for you too. But uh, give it a try, let me know how you, what you think of it, and I uh, thank you for watching Maximize Your Cooking, and I'll see you next time.